Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to talk about composition, a special type of composition called repetitive composition, using the same object uh, in a line or in a grouping to create a strong image. So let's get over to the set and show you what I mean. Well, here's our set. I'm using a 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens at 70 millimeters on a tripod aimed down at six white bowls all exactly the same just on a table with a piece of black fabric covering it our lighting is our tissue paper just hung over the window you can see that i just taped it right over the window so it's diffusing the light onto the set so we're using natural light no lighting whatsoever our camera and our arrangement well, I've set these bowls up in a very organized fashion. They're not hodgepodge all over the place. It's very lined up, very specific, spaced evenly to create a strong, repetitive image. So our camera's set to go. Uh, we're shooting at uh, f32 because I wanted to get a lot of focus, keep all the edges sharp. You don't necessarily need to do that in repetitive photography. You can use soft focus as well, or rather uh, selective focus. Um, but so we're at f32 at about 25 seconds. With the window light coming through, it should be a very nice shot. So let's take one here. Well, here it is. It really looks great. Uh, the graphicness of its work and the repetitive nature is all there. Um, I think that uh, it really works well. It could use one more thing to give it some more interest. So let's try that next. Well, we've got a really nice repetitive graphic here, and it's interesting, but it, there's no actual point of focus or focal point to um, attract your eye. It's a nice, interesting, abstract, repetitive shot right now. So what we're going to do is I got some water, some blue food coloring, and we're just going to uh, put it in this bowl here because I think this is a good spot for your eye to go to. It'll draw your eye. And it'll keep the uh, it'll make the whole shot a lot more interesting. So let's shoot one there and take a look. Well, that adds a lot to this sort of a photograph. Um, we still have the graphic repetitive uh, composition, but now we have with the water in the one bowl, we have a focal point which draws your attention and makes your eye move around the shot. So this is a I would say this is a very successful repetitive composition. And here's another one that I shot using paper cups on a white background. A lot more cups, a little more interest with the three colors, and another successful repetitive composition. And here's the very simple one, just on the white background. I just laid matches out next to each other, sort of evenly spaced, a little random at the, at the front edge. But it gives you a nice graphic composition using repetition. Here's a found repetitive composition. This was a ceiling of an art museum in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. So use your eye and look for repetitive composition in nature and in architecture. I thought this was a really nice found composition as well, uh, with these lineup of windows, the reflections on the floor, and then the person in there that gives it the whole thing a scale. So look for these kinds of compositions send them in we'd love to see them or create one like we did in the studio or send that in we'd love to see it and have a great time well we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on composition and see how repetitive photography becomes very powerful give it a try and post your images here i look forward to seeing them and look for us again at learnmyshot.com <laughs>